Flowers for Moth Gardens Yes, the butterfly bush is named for attracting butterflies, but the anatomy of the flowers is just right for moths, too. Moths favor white flowers, so plant the super hardy, white profusion, variety of this summer flower shrub, and watch many species of nectar lovers congregate for the feast. The spider flower isn't one of the most popular annual bedding plants, but that's only because they look rather, blah, in their nursery packs in their immature form. Once in the garden, these plants quickly soar up to 6 feet tall, sporting 8-inch blossom clusters until frost. Moths adore pale-hued flowers on evening blooming plants, and the evening primrose gives you both on a tough as nails biennial for your drought-tolerant garden. This native wildflower can self-seed to a fault, so some deadheading is necessary to keep it in bounds. In addition to nectaring sphinx moths with the flowers, you may feed moth caterpillars like a pearly wood nymph with this plant's foliage. Nicotiana plants are valuable annuals for providing height to a flower border, and some varieties are extremely fragrant, especially in the evening. The plants thrive in hot humid areas, and they are passed over by most deer and rabbits. Plant a moth-friendly white variety like Perfume White or Only the Lonely. Keeping your garden too tidy denies moths places to hide from predators and a place to seek shelter from the elements. Therefore, growing plants like the native honeysuckle vine benefits moths in two ways, by providing a nectar source, and by giving them a natural tangle of stems and leaves in which to hide. Be sure to choose native honeysuckle species over non-native Asian species, which are invasive. Plant any of the single white impatiens to light up your shade garden and attract moths. African hybrids, in their pale peach and yellow tones, are also attractive to moths. Cluster a group of pots filled with impatiens in the shade of host trees like hickory, maple, or oaks, and you will provide food for both the caterpillars and adults. Gardeners who spend the day away from home appreciate the qualities of a moon garden, which reveals its beauty after the dinner hour. The moonflower vine requires hot weather to grow and bloom, and will struggle or succumb to pests in cool summer areas. The plants need something to twine around and may climb up to 10 feet, so provide a large trellis or other sturdy support. When choosing petunias for your moth garden, you should look for the single varieties instead of the new ruffled hybrids. Double flowers have a far lower nectar content than the single flowering types. If you've dealt with the budworm caterpillar, you might wonder if the petunia is also an important host plant for moths. This caterpillar is considered a pest, so don't feel guilty about treating affected plants with the organically friendly Depel or Thuricide. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.